In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four circular infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option. You can see here I have put the option number one and the icon here and with some reflection effect. And at the top, you can add the detailed text along with the title. And when I click, it will show in different color, the second option, the third option, and the fourth option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle. Shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, I'm going to make it white. Then align center, align middle. Now I'm going to cut this into two pieces. For that, go to insert shapes. Select the rectangle. Draw the rectangle covering only the half of the circle from the bottom. And shape outline, make it no outline. Select the rectangle, then hold the shift key, select the oval shape, go to shape format, merge shape and just say fragment. So you can see here this one, I'm just going to delete it and you can see here one more shape it has been created. So I'm going to select both the shapes and shape fill, I'm going to make it white and then I'm going to rotate it by holding the alt and the left arrow key. You can see here alt one, two times I'm just clicking and then you can just give a little gap like this you can see here a little gap with the help of the arrow key so once this is done i'm going to bring it here you can see here and then you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the oval shape all right and shape outline make it no outline shape will make it black right mouse click go to format shape increase the transparency you can see like this and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here i'm just giving a shadow effect if you want you can just increase the size and then send this to back so once this is done i'm going to add a few lines here go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose this line draw a horizontal line like this by holding the shift key and go to the lines and increase the width you can see here you can increase the width according to your requirement maybe four points and then here begin arrow select this one which is the oval arrow and end arrow also i'm going to choose the same thing so i end up getting a shape something like this press ctrl d to duplicate and then rotate rotate right 90 degrees i can just reduce the size and put it in the center you can see here put this in the center now you can add the text go to insert text box i'm just going to say equals lorem within brackets one and delete the unwanted text i don't want this much long text center align reduce the size you can see here and place it here and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape or uh, sorry the rectangular shape and then shape outline make it no outline put it in the center go to insert text box you can add title here center align white and put it like this and for this so you can see here the design is done so go to insert text box again type the option number one center align again make it bold you can give the same color increase the size and put it one here and then later on we can add the icon and then i'm going to duplicate this one so select all hold the control shift key together and drag it and then drop it again hold the control shift key together drag it and drop it again the same thing so i'm taking the four options so now this is one this is two this is three and this is four now depending on my requirement i'm just going to choose this one and i can just give any color of my choice you can see here for this 
lines i'm going to choose the same one and for this also i'm going to give the same font color then i'm going to choose this one maybe i'm going to give kind of a orange and the same color here as well as orange here and then for the fourth you can just choose any color as per your requirement you can see here like this and then this also you can just go and change the thing to the same color whichever color you want here also i need to just change the same color and choose the same color here so if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just go to insert icons and choose any uh, random icons i'm just choosing any random icons uh, and then i'm just going to put it here the size <coughs> sorry the size i'm going to make it 0.5 and then i'm just going to put it one by one here you can see here like this one by one and then i can just again change the color according to the color which i have selected at the top like this you can see here this will be blue so once this is done i'm going to select both of these shapes press ctrl g to group it select both you can select this one hold the shift key and group it Control G to group it and then I'm selecting all these four things here and then go to the graphic format graphic effects reflection you can just choose anything of your choice 